good evening chat. What's up, man? How are you guys tonight? Hope you guys are doing well. I'm very, very excited to finally, to finally get to the UK. This is going to be awesome. I'm very excited, dude. How are you, man? How's everybody doing tonight? It's good to be here. Good to be seen. I can't wait, man. This is not going to be one of the longest of the flights either. This is the best part. Is this isn't too bad. And then once we get through here, once we finish this, because I don't want to squirrel out. We're so close, man. We are so close. But once we finally finish it all, then we can start playing around with some of the other aircraft, and I'm really excited. It's like I was mentioning last time. I went and I, I purchased all the things for this game. Well, almost all the things. I mean, I got like the big... I got like the big pack or whatever. You know, the, the premium or whatever. You pay like a lot of money for it and you get it. It's really cool. Also, also, I have a brand new NVMe one terabyte drive coming some sometime sometime in 2021 whenever that gets here and this game's going to go directly on it so instead of these unbelievable wait times it's going to be gone if this game is just too big to put on the existing nvme that i have right now my entire my entire uh operating systems on there now and uh, a few other programs here and there uh, but that's it, nothing big. So now it's gonna be awesome because I'll have a full terabyte to play around with that I can put whatever the most demanding games on. Of course, Microsoft Flight Simulator is gonna go on there first and foremost. It's gonna, it's gonna take the brunt of it, man. And that's what I want. That's what I want. So bear with me for just, just a second, chat. I don't know if I'm talking into the ether here or if anybody's listening or if, if you can even hear me. So hang tight. Let me go to my channel on my phone real quick and see what's going on. See if I can hear things. How oh, nice I can. This is a good sign. Wonderful. It's alive, man. It's alive. <laughs> All right. Let's transition to our flight planner. I love this soundtrack, man. I love it so much. All right. We are here in our flight planner. I've done a little tweaking to the settings in this game, and I hope it looks good tonight, man. I really do. Okay, so our last, we were in Keflavik. This is where we were. We are going to set this as our, our departure point. This will be the departure point. Excellent. And then the other airport that we are going to be flying to is Edinburgh in Scotland. And that's going to be our arrival. I don't know what happened over here. We're going to go back here. Nope, not Reykjavik. We want Keflavik. This is going to be about a two and a half hour flight. This isn't too bad, man. This isn't too bad. But what we are going to do is we are going to set this to high altitude airways. That way we can use their ILS on their landings coming in, making our life a little bit easier. Apparently that took off an hour. That can't be right. That can't be right. Did that give us like a tailwind like crazy or something? What happened? I almost want to say screw it. I'll take it. Okay. Live players. We'll keep, uh, we're going to, we're going to keep this as easy. We'll do live, actual live traffic. And do we want to do live weather? Live weather would be pretty sweet. Should we do it? Nah. We should try to constrain it. I mean, once we get above above 10,000 feet, it really won't matter anyway. We can leave it live weather. I just hope we'll be able to see when we get in there. Uh, can we, though? Oh, crap. All right, hang on. Live weather in time. We're going to have to do a preset. We'll do live weather. We'll do live weather, but we want it. We want to be able to see like that. There we go. That'll work. That way we've got a little bit of light to work with. All right, let's look at our plane. We need our turboprop. We need our dare right there. Weight and balance. We're going to kit this all the way out. I'm going to play this like it's real deal here. 
I weigh a hefty 210 pounds, but I do not fly with anyone. Get the hell out of here. ATC options. Tail number AF12. Aluminum Falcon 12 parsecs. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Call sign Dread. Flight number. Not FL. We want DR for Dread. 666. Show tail number. You bet your ass. Call sign Dread. Love it. All right. Going to close that up. This looks to be, oh, there we go. Two hours and 14 minutes. This is looking pretty good. We are going to launch, baby. Let's do this thing. Fly away. Fly away. Let's hope we don't have any crosswinds as we fly. I'd be kind of upset if we do, but you know what? It is what it is. It is what it is, man. Well, how are you guys doing, man? This is uh, just a few days before the new year where we can literally watch 2020 disappear over the horizon, man. Sorry I wasn't on last night. Last night was my wife's birthday. So we were hanging out, having a good time. We'd be chilling. Do you guys have any special New Year's plans? Oh, what, uh, what, what is the plan? <laughs> Do I look like a guy with a plan to you? You know I don't. This music is thrilling. <laughs> We're going to be bringing in game music here in a second. There we go. That was that was pretty good if I do say so myself. I can appreciate it. All right, so I did a little bit of a little bit of tweaking here. And uh I think I think it's a pretty pretty decent uh payout here. So what we did was we set everything to ultra uh but then rolled um texture resolution back by like maybe 10%. And that gives us a lot less to worry about. Basically, it's rendering textures at a smaller, I guess, like at, a, at a, like a smaller resolution, but then re-blowing it back up. So it's using um, kind of how like consoles upscale. And I did this because I want to see everything, man. Jamie, what's going on? You're here throughout the flight working on your dissertation in, in fineness? Bidness, bidness. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, Jamie. I am losing my mind. Bidness class. What's going on? Well, you know what, Jamie? You will be flying bidness class here tonight. Don't you worry. How are you? <laughs> you ready for the new year? I'm ready to say goodbye to 2020. 2020 is the worst. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to kick this thing off the right way. We're actually going to start it up. Like we mean to do it. Let me give you guys the full effect. <laughs> Biden class. <laughs> I was like, this is a thing? Cool. <laughs> All right. All right, so here we go. I'm going to give you guys tons and tons of this. Ready for this? Let's hear what this thing sounds like when it starts up. How was the wife, uh, my wife's birthday? It was good. A little stressful, but it was good. I think she would have preferred to have gone out someplace. And I know I would have too. But we had the kids. We went over. You know that's sexy as hell. You know that's sexy as hell. Ooh. Listen to that thing. Then you always gotta test the test the engine. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we went over to her mom's house. She cooked dinner. It was real nice. We had a good time. All right, let's kick this thing off. Flaps down, full power. Let's say goodbye to Iceland and hello to the UK and the end 
of this epic, epic, it's not really that epic, it's just fun, trip that we've been making. Uh, do we do anything special at home? Not really. Like, I had to work, so that kind of sucked. Whoa, we have got a massive wind. All right, all right, all right, good. God almighty. All right, we're going to put you right at about, like, eight degrees. Hold her there. Pull in them flaps. Ooh, we're going to need some lights on this scenario here. Ha, cabin lights on. All right, so first and foremost, I know they're going to tell me to go up to about 31,000 feet, so I'm going to set that right now. That's 20,000. I always blow past 31,000 like it's nothing. There we go. We're going to do this. I'm going to set it to 1,500 a, a minute. That's not too terrible. Turn on our yaw dampeners. Turn on Navi. Flight director is on. We're looking good in the hood. Flaps retracted. Gear is up, I believe it should be. Let's see, did we get our gear up? Gear's up, looking good. All right, we're gonna pull out our flight plan here. What we're gonna do on this guy, keep this so that we can see the biggest picture possible. Pull up flight plan, this should show us where we are. And then this guy will be showing us our procedures as we go. Looking good. And then kill this guy. Let's see what we look like outside. Beautiful. But yeah, no, we didn't really do much special at home. We just kind of hung out, came came back, put the kiddos down, and then hung out. It was nice. It was very nice. You know, you, you, you work with what you got, you know? As my son has learned in, uh, as my son has learned in preschool when he was still going in person, and I, I could kiss them for, for coming up with this. You get what you get, and you don't get upset. They're fucking geniuses. They are fucking geniuses, those people. You know what we're gonna do? We are gonna crank this guy, like, right there. So it's a little bit out of the way. Yeah, there we go. this right back over there sometimes it's better to do something simple i agree it just it's it's one of those things that like you know it kind of sucks because like you know it, it, it's it, it's not a small birthday but not a not a big birthday she 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 turned 34 i'm 35 you know so i know 35 especially once covid and all that crap is gone oops sorry youtube <laughs> whatever i don't make money on youtube yet um, once that's gone, we'll have to do something extra, you know, extra special, I think. I, I think it'll be really fun. But until then, you know, we're kind of stuck. And you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it now, so like getting all upset about it, you know, it's just an extra stressor. Let's see if we can pull this puppy back. Yeah, 95% is a good one to sit at. That's pretty good. That'll keep this happy in here. Nice. And just for giggles, because it's probably still cold, we're going to de-ice everything. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing. <laughs> uh, Jamie, how have you been? How are, how are the holidays? <laughs> Here's my music. Ooh, there it is. See, I'm always curious if I play other game music. Like, I've got Forza. Forza music playing right now. Am I going to get... I don't think I can get dinged for that. It's like the actual soundtrack. Not, not like music inspired by, but like... I think I'll be all right. I think it's okay. We'll pull the plane sound out just a little bit. I'll let you hear it, but not... Doing well. Just got back from visiting your parents. You got roller. You got the roller skates. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. Have you uh, have you tried them yet? Have you tried them yet? That's honestly the biggest question anybody's going to be asking. And your full uh, rough draft of your dissertation is due on January. Oh my God, for real? Like that is a mood. Oh my God, you're not kidding. Yo. 
So next question then, um, how, how, how are you looking on it? Like, how's it, um, how, how freaked out are you? How far along are you in, in that process? Like, are you, are you good? I would assume you probably are. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? I love in this game that you can see the, the, the differences in the water. It's crazy. Got to revise a couple of chapters. It'll happen. Okay. Okay. You need a helmet first? Yeah. Yeah. Get on by random game music. Right. I know. I've been thinking about it because like you can play this while you're playing the game. Does it strike? It hasn't in the last couple YouTube videos I've done. So I'm hoping we're good. <laughs> I'm hoping we're good. I think we probably are, but you never know. How does it look tonight? Uh, just going to be nose to the grindstone for a couple of days. <laughs> we, we good, fam. Good. Good. That's so stressful. I don't even understand, like, what, what you're going through with something like that. I, I would just be losing my mind constant. That, that's where I would be. I would be losing my mind every, every three seconds because I would also be that guy that would leave a lot of stuff to the last minute because I write better um, and everybody says this they're all full of shit myself included um, everybody I write better under pressure or at least I like to say I perform better under pressure <laughs> which might be why I like streaming A plus quality thank you thank you I was hoping for that I was messing with some settings I've been watching a lot of other YouTubers and Twitch uh, Twitch streamers uh, playing playing this it's almost it's not fair to call it a game but um you know like streaming this and biggest thing is like frame rate and so one of the things that they they were talking about was texture resolution um and if you reduce it just below 100 you're no longer trying to hit a certain benchmark you're trying to hit the next one down and then it super samples up and I can see it here. I just don't know if on stream you can, but it looks like on stream, like it's coming through very smooth, which is what I was targeting. And I'll play that all day. <laughs> all day. Just curious. We're going to look around inside here. Yeah, this all looks the same. It looks good. I'm going to miss this plane when we stop flying this thing. As much as we do. I really like this one. I feel like this guy is such a little badass. This thing is a Billy badass. Hello, of you uh, for the quality of the content you put out, including those cheap bastards videos. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I stopped. Also, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I worked my ass off for those. Um, but yeah, that's one of the reasons I stopped. Those, those honestly, like no bullshit. Uh, each one of those, even though they were only like 10 to 15 minutes long, would probably run me about 12 hours of editing, shooting, recording. You know, like I would spend a whole night just recording game footage and then I'd spend another night editing it all together. And, and even when I got quick and, and, and knew what I wanted to do ahead of time, it still took forever. It still took forever. Oh, just wanted to let you know that YouTube is not uh, a meritocracy. You're doing great work. I. I appreciate that a lot. You don't even know, <laughs> and it's entertaining. I hope so. I, I think one of the one of the things that that I'm I'm not terrible at is interaction with with chat, and that's like if I can keep that going, we're good. Now the question is going to be whether or not I end up crashing our asses up here because I can't see shit, and we're looking okay on the virtual horizon here, but yeah, I never really trust that. This is not. This is making me nervous, man. All right, you know what we are going to do, though? We're going to we're going to send out our fuel. That should change things just a wee bit. I'm going to roll this back just a teens. Keep that around like 95. That'll extend our fuel life. Keep doing what you're doing. Jamie, you too. Jamie, you're facing some seriously, seriously adulting, adults, adult level, adult level craziness. And, and I, hats off, <laughs> hats off to you. 
And when you're done and you're settled and everything's cool, we'll talk about some emojis. Maybe some new channel art. Ooh. I want to support what you do. You're an amazing artist. Absolutely incredible artist. This looks so cool. The lighting in these clouds is amazing. I think we might... No, I'm going to keep it at 15. I'm going to keep it at 1,500 foot uh, gain. Because we're, we're holding at a nice steady about 170 knots, 216 over the ground. And oh, heck yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited. Look at how pretty this is. Oh, my God. I know I'm a weirdo because I love taking pictures in games, but damn, this one, Jesus. It just doesn't stop. Even when all you have to look at are the clouds, it's just like, cool. <laughs> you know? I just, I wish they could improve the, the textures on the clouds a little bit. Because you can see, and this is, I've, I've tried turning up the texture re revolution, it doesn't go away. That's my only gripe. And and it's not a big one because you don't pay that much attention. But now that I said something, everyone will see it. <laughs> Let's turn this draft uh, on the first. I'm ready if you are. Hell yeah. I want, oh my God, I'm so excited. So Jamie, how long have you been working on that draft? How long have you been working on your full-blown dissertation? Major adult talk. <laughs> Major adult talk. Did you play Final Fantasy 15? The pictures in that game were satisfying to take and you get filters. <gasps> no, I haven't, but I need to. I've, I've heard very, very good things. Shining! What's up, man? Suffer from dehydration and myocarpal tunnel at the same time. <laughs> and you panic thinking you might die at any moment. You don't want to sleep. That was me last night. Oh my God. Really? What happened? What in the hell happened? Shining, you got uh, carpal tunnel? Really? Shit. Been working on it since last summer. Wow. And I'm assuming mostly it, it, it's been self-driven. So you've had to be on top of, on top of keeping your shit in line. Yeah, more power to you. More power to you. Me and my ADD, yeah, nope. <laughs> yeah, nope. All right, we can turn off these cabin lights, I think. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of cool aircraft in the world. If I got that fuck off money, I'd probably be getting me one of these guys. For one, it's not a bad looking, not a bad looking whip. It's very rock and roll in the front. You got this massive air intake. These sick ass exhausts up here. The chrome on the nose, that's beautiful. And you've got a good design. You got a real cool design. You know, it's very modern looking. But then you get on the inside and you got good visibility. This is nice back here. I don't think anybody complained about flying in this thing. You even got a little table you can put down. That thing's hot. You know what I mean? This, this is a good plane. This is a good plane right here. This, this would be worth the fuck off money, I think. Hey, you're loving your new phone? Oh, you got it. You got it. How, how is it? Which one did you go with? Thought I was going to have a heart attack, even though it was only uh, my hand. Because if you look, my left arm numbness. Oh, my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God, dude. I know I've told. I've, I know I've told this story before, but it's a, it's a good, it's a good plane. What's up, LTD? How you doing, man? How was the, uh, how was Christmas or, or the holidays? I always assume I shouldn't do that. Or maybe I should. I don't know. I don't know. Working in retail all those years, man, you learn real quick. Don't ever assume everybody's doing the same thing you are. Can't tell you how many times I'd be like, Merry, oh shit. And they'd be like, what do you mean? You're like, yeah, Merry, Merry Christmas. Do you do Christmas? They're like, no. Like, oh, okay. Moto G7, uh, that a family member had right on dude i have got a moto g power sup love this thing love this thing this thing has got battery for days love it 
it's slow as fuck <laughs> and it uh and the pictures don't turn out amazing but it was like dirt cheap and it'll go like three days on a battery it's crazy you went down to florida oh now did you fly drive or what how did you get down there So chat, we have a minor issue. I've been discovering on the Reddit, on the Reddits, that uh, if we open up the map, the map, the map, the map, this guy right here, instead of using our uh, our map in game or in dash, opening up this map can trigger some shit. Uh, and I would prefer not to do that on a longer flight like this. So I'm not gonna be keeping this map up. I will keep, uh, we will keep in contact you want me going 27? That's fine. We'll be keeping in contact with uh, Control Tower, but the map we're going to be using in Dash Map. I'm not going to be keeping that in the overlay. Shunning says, coming down here was a mistake. <laughs> I have a 1080p screen on this phone. I'm so happy. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. You guys drove down? All right, so LTD, how, how long was that drive? I'm not going to ask you where you came from, but where... Uh, how long how long was that drive and that could really like for me for me if i were to go from here to like orlando it's like ooh, i want to say that's uh we drive that it's like 17 18 hours that's a long drive now we can fly it no problem i'll take us down there in an airbus man we'll be down there in two hours easy peasy if that if that no it's about a thousand miles and that thing's gonna cru uh, cruise about 500 yeah we'll be down there in about two hours also you guys i've been learning to fly the airbus in my spare time that one's fun that thing is massive that's a big old bird so we're gonna get some uh, we're gonna get some air time in that also i've been learning the uh the cessna citation which is a gorgeous 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 plane <clears throat> And the reason I'm saying I've been learning it is because the internals on these planes are so different. The uh, the Airbus, dude. When you guys see that, we're we're gonna do that after after we do our stuff with uh, uh, yeah 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 yeah. After we do our stuff with Heretic, when he uh, that'll be our next flight where he takes us around Michigan and has me try to pronounce stuff and everything I get wrong, I'm gonna have to fly to, which will be hilarious. Uh, we might do it in this one because this is pretty quick. We might do it in the citation. I might do it in the citation. That's much faster. But it might not even matter in that airspace, though. Funny, it feels longer of a trip uh, entering Florida than leaving. We were in pretty remote part. My parents are uh, pretty into the natural side of the coast. Nice. Loves a cavernous plant if you find the swamp. Whoa. About eight hours. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Eight hours in a car is very, very doable. Um, I've done I've done the trip down to Florida multiple times in a car. I've done a, a car trip from here to Chicago, here to Connecticut, here to what's 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 one of the uh, upstate New York? Yeah, I have driven fifteen hours straight as the driver <laughs> in a car. And uh, even that, I was just like, all right, I can keep going. My wife was like, you are out of your damn mind. I was like, yep. <laughs> hey, yep. Yes, it was. And still am currently. I love I love car trips. That's probably one of the reasons I love doing this. This is fun. You know, this is kind of neat, man. We haven't done this before. So this is live weather. We don't normally see cloud cover up here. So we are currently at 28,000 feet and we still have clouds. This is crazy. We've done like 15 in a day on a two day trip to Yellowstone. See, that'd be cool. Dang, that'd be cool. Have I been, uh, <laughs> have I been a busy bee? Uh, I mean, I, I, I've definitely this time of the year is one of the craziest times for me because so many of my family members have like, you know, like birthdays and stuff. So like my mom, my mom's birthday is Christmas Eve. My wife's birthday is the 28th. My son's birthday is the 10th. 
you know, like there's this December for me. It's just like, oh my God, dude. LTD, we are going to, we are 100%. We'll put it, we'll, we'll put it on here. Yellowstone would be awesome. Oh, have I been to Yellowstone? Uh, I have not personally, but I've always wanted to go. I have always wanted to go. It is, it looks amazing. And I think what we could do is throw it in the rotation for places we need to go here. So what I'll, what I'll do is I'll look up um, airports near or around Yellowstone and we can figure out from there, you know, like what a good uh, Yellowstone nearby airports. I want to do the, uh, I want to do Southwest real bad. I want to do Monument Valley. I want to fly over like, um, all the cool shit. Um, 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 why can't I think of it? Grand Canyon. Yeah. Bozeman, Billings, Jackson. Yeah. There's a bunch of different places we can fly in. That'd be sweet. One of the coolest things you've ever done was going. Oh, dude, I know. I've, I've never heard anybody say their trip to uh, Yellowstone was boring or just something they regret doing. All right, what's this thing freaking out about? Cabin altitude. No, I think we're fine. Here. <laughs> there we go. Bleed the pressure in the cabin. Yeah, it'll be all right. Unless that actually does kill me, which I doubt cabin pressure is fine i don't have that set as one of our fail points <laughs> also go to one of the glitch places that are like a mile underground that would be hilarious that would be hilarious i see no problem with this <laughs> i see no problem with this let's see we're cruising 306 over the ground we have reached maximum altitude Let's see what, uh, yep. They want us at 31. They want us up this high. That's cool. All of our de-icers are on. We're looking good. Only a little bit of ice on the wing. Not too bad. It's going to get warmer as we get closer to, uh, to Scotland. So I'm not too worried about it. Can't wait. Scotland's going to be awesome. You can vent pressure if you want. You can't let that. You can vent pressure if you want to. We can leave our oxygen mask behind. Actually, I think there is a way to deploy. Yeah, there's a way to deploy the oxygen masks. I don't know if it can be undone. So I kind of don't want to try it. But I also kind of really do want to try it. Hang on. Yeah, there's oxygen. There's 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 deploy. What happens? Oh, there you literally just reach up and grab them. Oh, my God. All right, we're going to turn that and we can turn on the masks. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. Holy shit. We'll turn that off. Oh, that's real funny. Right, let me reset this camera. There needs to be a reset button for that. And they're no friends of mine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Need to go to LAL at some point. What's LAL? If your friends don't mask and they don't mask, then they're no friends of mine. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, that is so good. All right. Now, I think the longest, the longest phase of this right here, it's 145 miles. And once we clear this, we're going to be, uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't say it. All right, we're going to do it just once. Here we go. We're going to do it just once. Oh, no, I was wrong. That second stretch, that's the long one. But then after that, we're boom, 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 and we're almost there. So that's pretty hot. That's not too bad. That is not too bad. We are up high. 317, 88%. I get a bad feeling like we are burning fuel too fast. I might crank us back to about 75. 
it's still sailing at 83%. That's not too bad. But I wonder if we can't get a little bit more out of that. If we... Maybe not. 83% might be our absolute working number here. I also haven't been really um, successful in making sure that actually is my my fuel mixture. I need to figure that out at some point. Remember to like the video. Yes, please, guys, if you don't mind. That does actually help me in the long run. It doesn't doesn't do much for us like right here, right now. But in the long run, that does help me. What do we got here? Grammar air valve. OK, that does help the uh, the video get through the masses aka youtube's algorithm i appreciate you guys even being here yeah we're gonna be going to uh to edinburgh oliver is a true god you are right yeah we are going into edinburgh tonight or i guess egph here's our flight plan so here's all our different points. Noise. Uh-oh. We got a bad feeling about something. What just happened? Oh, did I just glitch it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get that sweet, sweet algorithm. I got a bad feeling about this chat. We may have to pick up mid mid flight. You fly over the Amazon. That would be sick. I don't think we'd see much other than a bunch of green though. I want to go down to um I want to go fly through Patagonia. Yeah, I think we I think we may have glitched. Yeah, it's not responding to anything. Oh, okay. Not a problem. Not a problem. Ye old Alt F4 may, may, may solve the problem. If not, that usually tells me that somebody in here decided to get frosty with me. Nothing? Wow, no shit. All right, we're just going to go like this. Not responding, you think? There we go. All right, we'll give it a second. We'll pop back in the game. Is no problem. Is no problem. We'd be fine. Yeah, I can't wait for this NVMe to uh, to show up. And then this thing's gonna load like damn lightning. It's too big to keep on the NVMe I've got in now. So luckily my motherboard supports too. It's gonna be great. We could fly over Area 51. The pyramids, man, we did that the first night. It was so cool. I'm definitely doing that again. Definitely doing that again. Oh yeah. Oh, it's time to Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the thing this game is so big it's so big that uh glitches you just you assume they're gonna happen this team like this, they did such a good job with this team i have no problem dealing with this shit i really don't it's fine by me they they you know like is you guys go <laughs> you know uh i love it great wall of china oh that'd be pretty cool that'd be pretty cool to follow that i think it's like 1600 <laughs> great wall of chungus i think it's like what 16 how long is it Six thousand miles something like that i know there's a six and uh everest oh everest <laughs> oh everest Oh, okay, so we did. We have done Everest. We have done Lukla. Uh, Everest is a tough one. <laughs> Use code Chungus at, at checkout. <laughs> Get 10% off, <laughs> off your purchase. You can report back. All right, right on, right on, right on. Um, yeah, I'm, we did. So here, here's the problem with Everest and, and Lukla, the airport. Uh, it's elevation is at 10,000 feet. The elevation there is at 10,000 feet. So right off the bat, a good chunk of the planes in this game cannot cannot fly there. So you have to find one that's already exceptional uh, 
in its operating operating uh, ceiling. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to Keflavik. Let me set this so that we have all our fuel. Who cares? There we go. Cool. We're gonna do high altitude airways. And we, I don't think we'd made it to that first one. So I'm gonna put us We weren't too far out from that first one, so we'll go there. And we were going to come in on ILS 24. Flight conditions. I need light. Let's get us some light. There we go. It's pretty good. Live weather. I'm going to turn off the live traffic just to just to make sure that we don't get all screwed up. There we go. Should be all right. Cool. Yeah, about a buck 40. I, I'd say that's within 10 minutes of where we were. It's gonna be a bitch to pick up mid-flight, but let's see what happens. It's 13,000 miles long. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, so first and foremost, autopilot kick on so it holds us straight while we figure out what we're doing here. Let's get us back on track. We're up at 31,000 feet. I'm going to set us there. Thirty-one, one hundred. Make sure we stay exactly there. Okay, so far so good. We want flight on. We don't need nav should hold us straight along our path. Okay, cool. All right, not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Let's go set our, I want to see our flight plan over here. I want to see, whoops, we go back. I want to see our procedures. That's looking good. And then we can zoom this out. There we go. I was trying to tell you, I shouldn't have opened up. I shouldn't have opened that thing up. So you, uh, you can do a Canyon run through the Grand Canyon. Yes, we are 100. We'll take out one of the, uh, one of the bush planes. We'll have a, a fuck ton of fun doing that. That'll be amazing. See, this is why I like flying the uh, the high altitude, um, the high altitude stuff because you get all these nice little waypoints along the way, and you can just pick right back up at one. I feel like we probably lost about twenty miles, but or or jumped forward about twenty miles, but that's that's not a big deal. If we jump forward two hundred miles, then I'm going to consider that cheating. Never use live traffic. I mean, it's cool that you can, though. And I haven't ever had any problems with it. I know that a glitch is caused by opening up. It's it's bound to the V the V key right here, but this VFR map, there's a glitch. At least that's been discovered this week on Reddit. People were like, do not open that. And I did because I wanted to say because you can pan around on it and I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> and lo and behold, boom, it happened. I was like, ah, damn it. Oh yeah, it's totally cluttered with planes, but it's so cool though. Are there any military planes in, in the game? Not at the moment, no. Uh, I've heard tale, I've heard tale that they will be bringing in some of the uh, the, the better known ones, you know, uh, F-18s and whatnot. And we're gonna turn on all our de-icers. And actually we don't need, uh... okay, so it's got all of these lights off, that's good. <clears throat> Pretty sweet. Oh, hang on. Ooh, override the fuel control. Drop that in mid. Let's see where that goes. That's looking pretty healthy. Still pulling about 316 on the ground. That ain't bad. That ain't bad for 50%. Nice. All right. Go on to Flight Raider 24 and look at the U. Oh, dude, it's insane. Have you ever played with your phone and ask, um, uh, and, and ask it, like, what flights are above you? Super creepy. It'll tell you everything. We used to do that all the time at Apple. We'd be like, hey, I don't want to say it and trigger everybody's phone, but that person who helps out on phones, what flights are above me right now? And they'll be like, there is a United Aircraft, United, United Airlines flight 343 coming into BWI. And you're like, what the hell? Oh, it's insane. Vent the cabin. I did it before and nothing really happened. 
So like I've got the, the pressurization dump right here. Nothing really happens. Then we can bleed out the whole system. It gets mad at us right here, but I don't think I have that as a uh, an end of business kind of thing. I have everything set to high realism, but I don't know if that's actually... We did find these though. Hang on. Let's see if I can... Can I get this to... Oh, it's not letting me do it. It's being a little bitch. Where's my cue? There we go. So these bad boys, like right here, th them, them's your, your oxygen masks. Those are pretty scary. Look at these things. That That's gnarly, man. Look at that thing. And then there should be one above my head someplace. Yep, there it was. I just saw it right there. There's mine. Check that thing out. Keep clothes without goggles. Ooh, uh. Yeah, that thing is that thing's pretty nasty. That's how you know you done fucked up. <laughs> That's how you know you done fucked up. That thing comes out of the ceiling. I done fucked up. There's currently a C-130. What? All right, what's 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 LAL? Hang on. Let me look up. LAL Airport. And what is uh Lakeland Linder? Where is this? I know you've had me look at this up before. Uh, oh, it's in Florida. Right, right, right. There's a C-130 there? No shit. I'll be damned. How big's the uh, the landing strip there? That's got to be pretty sizable to be able to house that. All right, let's see. Make sure I've still got yaw damper. Okay, no, we're looking good. We're looking very good so far. Oh, there is something I've noticed. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. <clears throat> Yeah, that's your airport. Nice. We'll have to we'll have to uh, make a trip one night where we go out and show off everybody's, you know, quote, quote area. I don't want to get too close to anybody, but some of my flights will come here and refuel if they're skipping uh, McDill Air Force Base. Interesting. That's kind of cool. You played any aerial combat flight sims um back in the day back in the day now now are, are when you ask that do you, like like which ones are you referring to because the ones i used to play were actual flight sims there was no arcade side to them like they they were for real and i think today everybody says arcade flight sims and they just mean will you fly a plane so that it you know that's like uh, I used to play Let me show you these guys I used to play games like this These were the flight sims we you know, I used to get down with and these were like totally for real hardcore yeah, the C-130 come with the Blue Angels. That's right. That's right. That's right. But yeah, so I used to have... Yep, I had F-A-18. Uh, F I had the F-15 one. I had the Fighters Anthology. We talked about this a little bit. But this was so for real, man. Like, you could not screw around with these. <clears throat> yep, UNSF 97. This is, this is how long ago I played on these. Like, even back then... Like, that was legit. That was legit. Welcome to 640 by 480, by the way. <laughs> like, these are the ones that I, yeah, yeah. These these are some old school graphics. But man, I look at this and I'm still like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. This, I wish mine looked like this back in the day. Oh, man. Yes, dude. I had longbow. Oh, my God. These are so good. Oh, these are amazing, man. 
That's what mine looked like. Yeah, that's what mine looked like right there. Oof. Flying around. Here we go. Yep, we had our A-10s. Oh, man, this is so fun. My parents, they used to think I was nuts. I'd be upstairs for hours just tweaking the graphics so I could get above, like, 10 FPS. I didn't have a gaming rig. I just, I made it work. You find ways to make it work and just pray. Oh, I remember this shit. Yeah. Oh my God. Memories. War Thunder, uh, the models does damage to individual parts. Yeah. <laughs> PC Master 8 go, but 8K, oh yeah, dude. I don't even understand why people are, are focused on 8K at this point. Like, there's no real content in 8K. 8K is just shy of, like, uh, IMAX at this point, right? It's 10. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I was playing... I was playing stuff like that mid-90s. Mid-90s? Ah, oh, dude, I remember having... Uh, what was the name of the card that I had back then? It was... I know it was an NVIDIA... I'm going to say mid 90s Nvidia. Let's see. What was it, man? Oh, there was like a 2 and a 3. Jesus. I got to look this up, man. I got to look it up or it's going to drive me insane. What was that chonky boy that I had, dude? Let's see. Oh yeah, <laughs> these things, man. You get a laugh when you see these. 90s. Oh, was it the NV2? It might have been the NV2. Shit, it might have been. That's from 95, 96. The Reva. Oh my god, I remember. And the Voodoos. Ah, it was a Voodoo. I had a 3D effects Voodoo too. That's exactly what I had. Oh, ho, 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 ho. resolution 800 by 600. Woo! That was a big boy. 3D Mark original Voodoo 2 required you to have a, a 2D card. Yep. Oh my God. Yes. This this is this is where this was the game, baby. Any idea how much longer? Uh, probably about an hour and a half. I think we were about an hour and a half out, give or take. Nvidia. Oh my God. Shit. The Voodoo 2. Oh my God, dude. These are so good. I mean, th th this is what these cards used to look like, you guys. Like, we have so much... The stuff that we see today is so rock and roll by comparison. Like, these were these were video cards, man. These were your GPUs back in the day. And we'd be lucky to get something that looks like this. Or like this. The Riva TNT. Yeah, baby. The Voodoo 3. My God. There you go. There's the TNT 2. Look at this. Oh, yeah. The GeForce 256. <laughs> that resolution ain't too bad. That resolution ain't too bad. This is when shit started getting real. Oh, yeah. The Voodoo 4, Voodoo 5. There we go. Shit, man. I remember all of that shit. Am I going to end the stream when I land? Yeah. Yeah, uh, this stream is only going to be focused on the Iceland to Scotland portion of this. Uh, but then after that, like, we can just do free flies. You know, like, not tonight, but, like, next time we go flying, we'll go, we'll do, we'll do plenty of free flies. We'll jump all over the world. Estimated that 35 millimeter film has a digital resolution equivalent to 4K. I think it could be actually higher, because, like, if you look at, like, the old, uh, uh, they filmed Wizard of Oz back in the day. And, and that's easily thrown up onto IMAX screens. Equates to 6K. Yeah, there you go. 35 IMAX film. Yeah. 70 millimeter. It's closer to 12K. Right, right. Gamers nowadays. Game look bad. Me angry fix. It's so hard to fix it today, though. Because, like, today, today, we don't get all of the, uh, like, back in the day, there was no optimization for games, right? Like, they, they, they would crank something out, and either you could run it or you couldn't. You know, like, that was it. Um, but back, back then, it was just, like, th like, there weren't the same kind of standards that we have now. <laughs> you know, like, if somebody said, hey, you need this card to run this game, we all ran out and just bought it. 
LTD, you're gonna come back at the end. Right on, right on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are. I might be able to tell you. Hang on. Uh, overall. Yeah, no, it's just showing me my next, my next waypoint. What is it freaking out about? Chill out. Shouldn't me be burning fuel that bad? Doing 316. We're doing good. No, I'm leaving this right where it is. It thinks I'm over torquing the engine, but I'm not. Why does it think I'm over torquing the engine? It does not like where I've got this. Hold on. Let me, let me scale it back just a little bit. Because it will. I know we're sitting at the very top of our ceiling. Nah, it's just going to be a bitch about it. That's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Put this thing right back to 50. Crank that way back up. Beautiful. I don't want to lose speed because it's being a, a, a douche, but like we're only we're, we're well within our green range. I don't know what it's freaking out about. Ryan, what's going on, man? Are, uh, am I using mouse and keyboard? No, I do have a HOTUS in front of me. I got a T-Flight, uh, T-Flight X. Uh, it's one of the more basic of the HOTUSes, uh, but I love it because I've got a throttle control as well as, you know, a stick. Uh, and for this game, you can go mouse and keyboard despite what Dr. Disrespect said, <laughs> um, but it's not fun. You know, like it, it can be done. And if you're flying pr predominantly on, on autopilot, you're not touching the stick all that much. If you're going to be taking out like an extra 300, you want to stick. You want to have have a stick. Do the channel. What's up, man? How are you tonight, dude? Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome in. But yeah, no, um, flying on a HOTUS. Uh, love it. It's a beautiful, beautiful little thing. Uh, prices are coming back down on those guys now. So it's actually a good time, I think. Let me see. I'm going to go check my new egg real quick. And we're going to type in a HOTUS and find out. Uh, no, I take that back. The one that I have right now, I bought for about 70 bucks on Newegg. They are going for 250. Do not buy a HOTUS right now. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Let me look on Amazon. Wow. Okay. So apparently those went right back up again. Let's try it on Amazon real quick and I'll let you know what I find. Uh, 269. Let's see. T-Flight. Yeah, no, I wouldn't do it. T-Flight HOTUS 4. It's basically the same thing I've got. Let me see if I can find T-Flight HOTUS X. There it is. 200 bucks. Don't do it right now. My God. Four times the price. Download Microsoft Flight Simulator. Right on, dude. What do you, um, what do you have? I will tell you, mouse and keyboard, not bad. If that's what you have available, you're going to need to do a little bit of tweaking in your settings under controls. Um, but for mouse, it's really not that bad. Like everybody kind of shit on it, but it, it's really not that bad. You're just gonna have to go through one by one and program what you want it to be. They do have a regular default. And if you learn that, you're gonna be fine. Uh, but I would, I would 100%, you know, like practice. <laughs> it's Santa Dread. What's up, dude? Uh, Quiz, what's happening, man? How are you tonight, my dude? Yeah, Flight Sim, Ryan, Flight Sim 2020 is amazing. Been having a great time with it. Uh, this is, I decided to try to do something a little nuts and take a little TBM 930 and try to go transatlantic flight from Baltimore all the way to uh, Edinburgh. And the range on the plane is not far enough to do it. So I had to stop in several different places. So the first place we stopped was in Canada. Second place we stopped was in Greenland. Third stop was in Iceland. And now we're on to our very last, last leg of this. I don't have a yoke and a foot pedals. I definitely don't have, um, I don't have foot pedals or anything. But the nice thing about the HOTUS is I do have the ability to use, uh, like the, the behind the throttle actually does have like the pedal settings, which are kind of cool. First time playing? Sick, dude. You're going to love it. Nada, nada. How was your Christmas in the fam? Dude, Christmas was good. Uh, fam's better. You know, it's always a good time. Uh, everybody, everybody got what they were wanting. We had a nice, relaxing little time. I got some time off work, which is pretty sweet. It was good, man. How was yours? 
God told me they have a Santa skin with reindeer and everything. Dude. Okay, so truth be told, I had downloaded a massive pack of liveries uh, for, for all my planes. <laughs> and uh, it was like 45 gigs worth of these things. And I didn't even realize. I didn't even realize. And then switching planes because it had to load so many took forever. So I just deleted them all. I was like, ah, fuck it. It's not worth it. But if they did, yes, I'd be all over it. Uh, is this the same HOTUS for Elite? Yup. Yup, same one. One of the things I really like about it, too, is it, uh, like, the stick itself allows you to twist. So I can do, you know, some kind of crazy rudder control just from the stick alone. Or I can, you know, like, work on it from, from uh, the throttle portion, which is kind of neat. But I love being able to... I love being able to, to, to twist the stick. It just makes it a little bit more more natural when you're when you're already already there, you know. Wasn't bad, just me and the dog. I made porg. <laughs> nice. <laughs> right on, dude. That's good though. That's good. <laughs> Fucking funny, man. Not bad, dude. Having a little time to yourself can't can't be a bad thing, right? We are way the fuck up here. Do I have all my... Yeah, I got them all turned on. Good. Let's take a look around us, chat. We are the only ones in the world trying to get to Edinburgh right now. I don't know why. They got good, good whiskey. <laughs> Let's see, uh me and my co-pilot in here oh shit we can go right through the body of the plane let's hang out back here oh yeah oh yeah this is nice this is nice back here <laughs> i didn't know i could do this well oh, this is funny dude shit they put the detail in back here too ah whoa whoa, whoa. easy dread easy easy dumb dumb oh this is awesome what are these Hang on a second. I want to see if I can uh, adjust the speed of this camera. Drone speed is at 4%. What's 0%? Stupid, Dread. That's what it is. Yeah, that's a little more. Oh, this is funny. We're just going to come sit in between. Like, what's up, guys? Where did they go? Where did our pilots go? Oh, shit. We're ghost riding this whip. Nope, there they are. Okay, they have returned. Hi, guys. Oh, this is too cool. This is cool as shit. Did we store drugs back here? No, we didn't pack the drugs. I thought we were doing the Colombian drug run. We're not doing that. Next time. Next time. This co-pilot on the camera, but not in person, right? <laughs> it's true. Responded with Chewy Pig. <laughs> How high are we flying? We're up at 31,000 feet right now. Made a Cornish game hen. People are giving me a hard time that it was a porg. I have nothing wrong with, with the consumption of porg. I think porg is probably very healthy. <laughs> Gotta have it every so often. Yeah, we're up at um we're up at 31,000 feet. We are following a flight plan. Whoops. That I uh I preset out in the main menu uh i selected high altitude so it set it to the highest altitude that this plane can handle uh and for a turboprop it's kind of impressive being up this high yeah it's insane um and we are currently this is kind of also neat so our airspeed right here we're pulling 192 knots but on the ground i guess we've got a little bit of a tailwind yeah we do holy shit we have a tailwind that's pushing us up to 317, so we are doing quite well. We are doing quite well. So the Mandalorian, dude, 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 I will full on, full on admit to crying. Got no problem. Just like that dude, that, that, that YouTube dude that Pablo Hidalgo made fun of. Yeah, I was crying like that. Could not have been happier to see that. And I'm trying not to spoil it in case people in chat don't know what I'm talking about. But I kind of feel like at this point, if you don't know what happened in the last episode of Mandalorian, 
Well, it's a turbo prop, so you don't need to have maximum air to function. That's true. That's true. But that's the thing, though. The other turbo props don't tend to. I think the maximum altitude. I think this is the highest, the highest functioning of of the whole lot that they give us in here, because they give us like a Beechcraft uh, King Air, and I think that thing does like maybe twenty four thousand at the best, maybe maybe not even that high. I bet I can get you to get, uh, even more with it, dude. I've been analyzing the hell out of it, but go for it, go for it. What you got? <laughs> what you got? It was so good, dude. It was so good. Oh my God, it was good. Love it, dude, love it. Oh, this is cool. This is crazy cool. I can't believe we can do this. Let's see if we can get like a crazy Crazy zoom level on this. Oh, it's neat. Ryan says, bye. I hope you have a great night. I have to go. Ryan, thank you for popping in, dude. Appreciate it, man. I hope you enjoy the game. If you ever have any questions, let me know. I've been uh, I've been doing this since day one, and then I've been playing uh, Microsoft Flight Sim since the, uh, the original, even before the last big one that they put out. Uh, so I've been playing Flight Sims for a while. So if you ever have any questions, just shoot me, uh, shoot me a message, man. It's super, super cool to meet you. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know how it works out. So what if he had reached into the pocket and pulled out the silver ball? I, dude, I was thinking that myself too. I was totally thinking he was going to give him the little ball. I, it was exactly, I know I was going to lose my damn mind. Oh, I, yeah, dude, it was bad. It would have been bad. I would have been such a mess. I was thinking the same thing though. I was thinking, man, he's going to take his hel helmet off and then give him the little ball. And I was like, nope. Nope, I'm going to be a mess for the rest of my life. <laughs> Turboprop aircraft with the highest altitude. Oh, no, I meant I meant in this game. I, I'm not talking overall. This is not the highest flying in the world. Thanks, man. You're the best. Anytime, dude. Anytime. Anytime. 100%, my dude. Uh, did I hear the R2? Th yes. Yes. Yes, I did. That. Yep. Yep, that R2 takes uh, takes Grogu or rescues Grogu before uh, Ben does his thing. Yep. 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 I don't know if I feel like that might be uh, might be a stretch, though. I feel like that could be a stretch. I feel like it's more more likely that uh, Grogu establishes another another temple. Because if Yoda was training Jedi at age 100, which we know is canon, then I feel like if Grogu is 50, right, when they find him, then another 50 years passes. By the time, by the time he's with Luke, it'd be another 25 years. I don't know. He'd be like a teenager-ish, maybe. No, not that. What's, what's the other one? Or why, why R2 doesn't ever talk about him or... All right, we're about to hit the longest one. And then from there on, it's all good. <clears throat> Grogu was in the Jedi Temple during the purge. R2 rescued him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Which is why he reacted to him like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like he, he, and I got what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But see, here's the other thing, though. Ahsoka didn't. And it's really damn weird that Ahsoka wouldn't have. So I don't know. I think, I, I don't know if R2 would not have spent that much time in the Jedi Temple. You know what I mean? But then again, who knows? It's all, it's all going to depend on where Fabro wants to go with this and how he wants to play the entire thing out.
Yeah, that is a that is a thing. Artus never had his memory wiped. We don't know if Artus ever had his memory wiped. That's a thing. Uh, there's a there's a lot to suggest he never has, and then there's a lot to suggest that there's enough ambiguity that he could have. No, I know she left before it, but she didn't leave that far before it, though. Like she left, shoot, what about a year prior? Maybe a year prior. So. If Grogu were there and the Jedi were, were training her training Grogu, then it, it would go it would go to reason that either the temple's just massive. <laughs> the temple's just massive, which we already know it is. But it just it feels weird like there's another Yoda species in the building and people missed it? I don't know. No, she didn't leave a year before. She left two years before, maybe. Because the purge happened at the end of Rebels. Now that could be like a year, year and a half. Cardoon announces the uh, the Lone X Wing. Yeah, we're saved. And it's Porkins, not Luke. No, that would have gotten me to cry. I'd be like, God damn it. <laughs> it's in a small comic. So here's the thing with the comics. You got to be careful with that. Because a lot of them prior to a certain date are no longer considered... in the new canon yeah this is exactly what I was thinking too is R2-D2's memory ever wiped in the new canon this is on reddit the Star Wars reddit why does no one seem to care looking through the timeline of canon media I do not see any sources within which R2-D2's memory is wiped, but that also, if you don't see it, that also doesn't mean the closest, closest is episode three when Bale says have the protocol droids mind wiped. Is there ever a moment where they explicitly state R2's memory is wiped? If not, are we to assume R2 has a functional memory reserve of all the events he witnessed from episode one to seven? Second question is even more perplexing. Uh, while trying to find an answer to this question online, all the discussions I found of R2's memory were either downvoted, ignored, or in some way casually waved aside as uninteresting. Why is that? Well, that's not a question we care about. So here's the thing. Here's the thing, and here, here, here's your proof in the pudding that R2's memory has been wiped since episode three. Um, here's what it is. R2 was on Mustafar. So that would mean R2 knew that Anakin died on Mustafar. But he was also there to scan the Imperial shuttle coming in to save Anakin. And the fact that he would never tell anybody that Anakin potentially was still alive and he would have seen Anakin turn on Obi-Wan and announce himself as a Sith and still tell no one suggests his memory has been wiped at some point. Now, there is no canon that says it hasn't been. At least according to the nerds on Reddit, and let's face it, <laughs> they keep better track than Lucasfilm does. So my guess is because R2 never says anything to the heads in charge about Anakin going hardcore rogue. Because like, let's face it, that's, um, oh, I don't know, probably the biggest story that anybody would be sitting on in Star Wars, period. I gotta go with, at some point, he doesn't know. R2's a Sith confirmed, right? R2 suffered a catastrophic failure after getting attached to an ancient terminal containing both Apple and Windows software and running them. Yes! <laughs> R2.exe is stopped, <laughs> stopped functioning and needs to be rebooted. Yeah, I don't know, man. Because, like, you got to figure R2 and Luke are super close. And R2 never once mentioned to Luke that, oh, yeah, by the way, your dad didn't die like Ben told you he did. R2 just stayed totally quiet? No. No. They see Vader. 
because Ben's like, Vader killed your dad. R2 had to have been going, hang on a second, who's this fucking Vader guy, man? <laughs> like, and that's the thing, Obi-Wan knew Vader because he heard it, he heard it in the temple and actually now that I'm thinking about it, R2 might have seen those hollow vids too. So R2 knew Vader's name was Anakin. And if R2 knew that and Ben tells Luke and Luke, they go to the Death Star, the whole thing. No, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. R2 downloaded Sonic.exe and died. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he saw, I'm pretty, I gotta go watch it again because I've never thought about R2 being in the background, but I got a bad feeling that R2 was right there in the same room with Obi-Wan. No, he wouldn't have been. He would have been on Mustafar with Anakin. Well, shit, now I gotta think. No, hang on, hang on. R2 rode back from Mustafar with Obi-Wan. R2 knew. R2 knew. There's no way R2 didn't know. The humanoids pretty much ignore R2. Exactly, dude. Right, so R2's basically like a fucking spy. R2's like the best kind of spy. Hell, even the battle droids ignored him for the most part till he lit their asses on fire. <laughs> R2, hands down, one of the most badass little mothers in all, all of Star Wars, dude. R2 pulled a Legolas and just dicking off in the background, not paying attention. Right? <laughs> I love it. Our, our two's in the background just chasing butterflies and shit. But in all honesty, he's recording everything. <laughs> I fucking love that. I love that. Damn it. Now I'm... Where the fuck was R2? R2 didn't go with Annie to Mustafar. R2 didn't go to... But how did Anakin get there? Because he took his Jedi Starfighter there, I thought. And the only way to jump would have been during the Senate hostage crisis, nor did he receive new programming. Never given a full memory wipe, but that means he has had stuff removed. And so if, if a partial wipe exists by Cad Bane, then other ones have too. So you got to figure R2 knowing, R2 knowing about Anakin's secret got wiped. He never would have. We need to get an Obi meme. We're taking the droids to Mustafar. <laughs> they're, they're, they're taking the droids to Mustafar. <laughs> yes, I agree. Hang on. Where was R2? Well, Anakin was on. I'm pretty sure he was on Mustafar. R2 stays with the ship when Anakin lands to take care of the Separatists. R2 was on Mustafar. I was right. Okay. R2 is rolling up beside Obi-Wan to leave after Anakin's been all chopped up. I was right there too. He rode back with Obi-Wan. Okay. I thought so. I knew he was on Mustafar because how else would Anakin have gotten there? You going to make it? Nice. Tell me, where is Padme? <laughs> no. Oh God, I just saw the craziest thing the other day. So there's a uh, the French dub of uh, Revenge of the Sith. That no part is like the most tortured scream you'll ever hear. You've got to hear it. Somebody replaced the no part with the French one and it's so good. You just hear this, this shriek. And you're like, oh shit, that was way better. Sorry, James Earl Jones, that no was weak. That guy nailed it. For I much desire to speak with her. <laughs> I don't know where she was buried. That's a good question. I have no idea where Padme was buried. They probably, uh, they probably Viking funeraled her. Unless you think, like, you think she was actually, actually buried. I mean, it seems possible. <laughs> Mon dieu. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, it's 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 incredible. And I'd play it if 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 I wouldn't get struck by Disney 19 times. 
Be like, man, whatever. We need a cigarette. <laughs> no, see, Vader can't smoke. <laughs> no. <laughs> Vader, Vader and cigarettes, not a good combo. Oh, don't give the guy with severe asthma a cigarette ever. <laughs> Marked by Rex and Rebels that if they had a little blue and white astromech, they could have all the data of the Republic. Clone Wars TV show had all Republic. Yeah, yeah. Bases and blueprints, that's true. <laughs> Say la me, bitch. <laughs> So, okay, so think about it that way, though, Shining, is that it, it sounds like certain events could be removed from R2, but, like, tactical information, not. You know what I mean? So it's entirely possible somebody went through and were, <laughs> was like, like, Bale maybe at some point was, like, remove everything about everyone, but keep all, keep all the geographic locations because the Empire is now going to be operating out of all of our forward bases. I don't know why they'd keep it in a droid and not in, like, some main, main place, but, you know, whatever. Rebels is good, dude. I loved Rebels. That was a great show. And then in Clone Wars, the end of Clone Wars has to be some of the best. Some of it just the most epic beautiful content I've ever seen. Does that look like land over there? Hold up. I'm gonna try something. Or is that just a cloud? Cloud. All right. I got all excited. I was like, no way. We're not here yet, are we? That'd be great. You know why uh, Leia's adoptive father is a true hero? For Venator? Yeah, he did. Remember everything from high school history, but forget Blue Waffle. Yes. He never bailed. <laughs> oh, dude, no. Oh, dude, no. That's real good. That's real good. Dude, I got to tell you, man, that, that scene at the end of... Uh, well, it's not the end, but it's close to the end of Rogue One, where Bale's like, I have to get back to Alderaan. You're just like, you're not going to want to go, bro. You're going to want to stay right here. Do not go back. I repeat, do not go back to Alderaan. Now is not the time. And he's gone. <laughs> oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry. He's going to find out the hard way. But yeah, he did never bail. That's funny as hell, dude. That is funnier than hell. Oh my God. <laughs> he never bailed. Ugh, nerd jokes are the best. I'm trying to think. Um, R2 doesn't make an appearance in Squadrons, does he? I played through it so fast. I want to still, still do want to see Grogu in a little Mando costume. I think we probably will, honestly. Legit, the Rebels could have captured a drive yard and just start pumping out ships. Dude, right? Especially the uh, the uh, the yard um, at the beginning of um, Fallen Order. That yard was, was a gold mine. Would have been amazing. They'd have been set for ever. <laughs> and I think, I think we may actually see something with Grogu getting training from both the Jedi and the Mandos, honestly. Uh, and, and maybe, maybe that's why Grogu disappears is because Mando goes and takes him back as a foundling. Because if there is one thing we were told, and it was, it, it, it was season one, was that Mandalor uh, a Mandalorian is not a race, it's a creed. No, that wasn't, that wasn't, that wasn't Kuat or Kuwait. No, it's Kuat. Yeah, I don't think that was Kuat. That was a uh, fuck. What was the name of the planet they were on? Beginning of Fallen Order. Unless it was owned by them, but I I don't remember hearing that name anywhere. But then again, they didn't expressly say one way or the other. So who knows? Let's let's assume it was. But then again, a lot of the Imperial shit came from Corellia. A lot of the Imperial shit came from Corellia. Just like Han likes to say, and not that. 
I'm not talking about the, uh, the Bolt Cruiser, mind you. I'm talking about the Corellian class. It was Braca. Yeah, 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 yeah. You should look for the, uh, what should you get a Wookiee for Christmas song in R2-D2. We'll wish you a Merry Christmas. I will. But see, a scrapyard would have helped them. A scrapyard would have helped them a lot. Because that's what the imps were using it for. Rebel stuff came from Corellia. Well, no, in Solo, they were building. Nope, in Solo, they were building Star Destroyers on Corellia. 100% they were building Star Destroyers in, on Corellia. And it was still Kuat, but yeah, it, I mean, that's, that's where they were building them. You saw them in orbit in Dry Dock. Yeah, I remember that at the beginning of the beginning of uh, Solo. Yeah, they definitely got stuff from uh, Mon Calamari. Right. The best space sushi bar in the known galaxy. Ooh, shit. <laughs> That's funny as hell. True, true. It was like Fondor. I don't know Fondor. Fondor? You mean Endor? Oh, Fondor Shipyards. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah, I remember Corellia being like a big... Like, it was something until, until Solo gave us actual, you know, new canon on it. I remember just being so confused. It's like, when are we going to see Corellia? What's it going to be like? Because, like, the Millennium Falcon is Corellian, you know? The same with Dash Rendar's ship, if that even still... The Outrider, if that even still counts. Which it probably doesn't. I guess it doesn't. Watch the best Star Wars movies made. You mean 4, 5, and 6, baby? I'm debating whether or not to show my kid those yet. He's only five. I don't know if he'll soak up enough, but at the same time, I'm so concerned that someone's going to ruin the surprise, you know? Battlefront 2 and was used to obtain Operation Cinder Satellites. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, how cool is it to hear about Operation Cinder in uh, Mando? Ooh. Ghost is Corellian. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. That looks like it'd be Corellian. I never actually looked it up. I didn't know that. That's cool. It looks Corellian. That's cool as hell. That makes me happy. All right, what do we got? We got 58 nautical miles till we get to our next. So we're going to be overland. Love it. You know what we're going to do? We're going to increase this a little bit. Beautiful. So now we're looking about 100 miles out. There's 150. There's 50. Nice. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Man, we're fighting some wind now. What's our ground speed? Still looking. We're looking real good, man. How's our fuel? Looking excellent on fuel. Really good on fuel. Wow. We got the mix right this time around. 81%. We're definitely more than halfway there. I was like, oh God. So this is after aftermath. <laughs> uh, yeah, it would be. You don't remember those two movies, James? <laughs> Which one? Oh, Battle for Endar and Ewok Adventure? No. No, no, no. We don't talk about those. No, 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 no. We don't. We, we don't talk about those. You uh, you own all three of the... Yeah, me too. They're so good. Did you ever read... Um, Did you read Bloodlines? That one was fucking amazing. And I've done done the Thrawn books. Um, I've got uh, High Republic stuff on pre-order. 
I think that comes out in about a week, right? On the 5th? I think that comes out on the 5th. Exactly a week from today. You yeah. Excited for that. That's going to be awesome. Very excited for that. Droids in the cartoon series. Oh, man. Come on now. <laughs> Endor became a dark side nexus after their uh, Death Star 2. Didn't know that. No. Official canon? Or EU? I did not know that, really. Oh, this is cool. We are in communication with the Scottish Tower now. Very cool. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, I'd like to forget that whole series. Let's set our pips right in the center here. That way our heading matches up. Disney Endor. <laughs> that would be awesome. Polly, what's going on, Polly? This platform shift keeps messing with me, man. Don't mind me just hopping on mid-flight. What's up, dude? No, man, my whole week is all messed up because I wasn't on last night. Had to uh had to hang out with my wife. It was her birthday. We had a good night. Everything was uh pretty chill. She had a she had a long day with the with the kids though because I was working, so she was watching both kids and uh, baby girl is teething like crazy. So she was upset all day. So her birthday was like low key not great <laughs> until like last night. The kids went down. I was like, okay, you you need a drink. She was like, uh huh. I was like, all right, good. <laughs> we'll take care of you. Pop spirit got fused uh, to the dia. No. Whoa, that's crazy, really? I believe it. I believe it. He's a crazy some bitch. He's a crazy some bitch. Canon uh Leia seen seen the duel of the fates in the Disney era comic, she gets force visions. Yeah, that's right. I do remember that. Yeah, so she's got that same similar um Oh god, what's it called? It's a similar power that uh Cal has and that Ray has where they can touch it touch something and they can see visions from it or, or go someplace and see visions. Uh, it's called force kinesis or something. I can't remember. I always forget the name of it, but it's a, it's, it's how they've, they've gotten away with like saying, Oh, they have, they, they can know all this stuff out of nowhere and it's okay. Hey, we got land. We got land. We got land. Look at there. Check it out. Hi, welcome to Scotland. How cool is that, you guys? We can see the UK. Makes me feel like we actually did something here. This is pretty fucking cool. Look at that. You know, that almost, almost makes me want, I'm gonna post that. That's pretty cool, man. I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm getting excited about that. That's pretty damn cool. Let me download, open Twitter. On to the tweets. Our first official look at Scotland. We're almost there. It makes me happy, man. Like. It's been a long trip. There we go. Love being able to take these things like live on the fly and actually send them. That's so cool. Cal has force attunement, race case, Luke Saber. It was an echo. No, 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 no. Ray has the same thing that Cal does. That's why they introduced it the way they did. Uh, and it actually is called, hang on, hang on. You're going to, you're going to know it when I, when I, when I put it in here, hold on. Um, Cal and Ray have uh, force ability. It's the same thing. Uh, psychometry. Yep. A small number of force users, including Ray and Cal Kestis, have the rare ability of psychometry, which allows them to learn about people and events by touching an object associated with them. Yep. Psychometry. I always forget that one. Put on your kilt, man. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. 
Yeah, so they're not echoes. It's actually touching something. Uh, it, 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 they have to actually touch something that somebody had, which is why Ray Ray could see all that shit from the lightsaber. The saber, like, passed on that information, but she accessed it just by touching it. It's pretty fucking cool. Love to see a Scottish Sith Lord. <laughs> Gotta be epic. Dude, it'd be like Groundskeeper Willie with a lightsaber. <laughs> It'd be groundskeeper Willy with a lightsaber, man. It'd be ridiculous and awesome. It'd be so good. We're doing it, man. We're doing it. I can't believe it. This is pretty hot. This is kind of cool to live tweet this. I don't know why I haven't ever done this before. It's not like I don't have time. It'd have to be John Cleese. <laughs> I know this is his French routine, but it'd be so fucking funny. Leia didn't touch anything. All she did was walk into the hangar. The mall fight started in. Yeah, but being able to see back into the past is is something all like like. Remember, like with 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 um, how Yoda trained trained Luke. And and you hear it with Obi-Wan learning from Qui-Gon where they can see past, present, future. They can see possibilities. Like, being able to see through time in, in, in the Force is, is wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey, potential, stuff like that. But being able to physically touch something, like, that was a big part of the game, too. And, and same with, with, with Rey. When she makes contact with Kylo, she learns shit about him. You know? You got Disney Plus, Mandalorian, so good. It's so good, dude. It's so good. I honestly, no joke. I think Mandalorian is the best Star Wars content we've gotten since the original trilogy, hands down. No question from me. I think beyond the shadow of a doubt. Like, and, and that's not to discount everything else, but episode seven, eight, and nine to me, never ever felt like it was connected to the other, the other six. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything, LTD, don't you worry. Not a thing. Um, but like, it never felt as though it was connected. All right, we're starting to see these islands, man. This is good. This is very, very good. Let's pop back in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is, this is good shit. This is good shit beautiful now we can pull us in here a little bit closer it's 35 miles out 65 to the next one yeah we're gonna start rapid firing this shit now get ready you hated rogue one what oh even the end scene i feel like that made made life for some people differences fall in order and cal did it right with Ray, it was just like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I don't disagree with that. Kyle's like, oh, he can just learn from the forest residue on an object. Well, it's not exactly what it is though. It's not the forest residue on the object. It's like, he's connecting. Yeah, I don't know. Because like, he learned stuff from his master. What's her name? Siri or Seer from Seer by touching some of the stuff that she has, but she's cut herself off completely from the force. So I don't know. I don't know if there's a residue or what, or if a, a vibration or, ah, oh man, it's, it's, it's. <laughs> you want to see the original end scene with it? Uh, not the one watered down in the film. That was watered down. I never heard it got, it was, it was worse. What? That's why you did quotes. Okay, okay. I got you, I got you, I got you. Lazy way to, yeah, all right, fair enough, fair enough. I'm on the same page, I'm on the same page, I got you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, quiz. What you talking about, that's watered down? What? What? Dude, that, that, I, there's a point where he's got the dude on the ceiling and he just delivers the most savage backhand straight, straight through that guy's torso. That was watered down? Whoa. I like people to live uh, so I can make crap up in my head. I don't disagree. I know what you mean. The original was worse. They made it milder. <laughs> oh, they shouldn't have done that. <laughs> they shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I agree. I want to see the original shit. God, there's got to be some place where the ex with the extras where they have that. 
I mean, the one dude's like handing the plans through the door and he just gets kebobbed. <laughs> the trailer. Oh, okay. So here's the thing though. The trailer, the trailer they admitted, they, they full on admitted the trailer was made without the storyboard at all. Not the Vader in the hallway scene. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm talking about that shiz. When she's on the spire. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. I remember because she she's on the spire and a uh, a TIE fighter shows up in front of her. Yeah. Yeah. So that movie got absolutely reamed in editing. The animated Clone Wars is super good. Yeah. No, animated Clone Wars was good. It got better over time. Like in the beginning, it just was very disjointed. And like you got a bunch of different clone clone adventures, but you never got like you got some good lore, but not a lot of it. And as it progressed, it became necessary reading, <laughs> you know? Okay, so you're saying the hallway scene was made milder. My God. Oh, dude, wait, oh, we, oh my God. The Ahsoka series is gonna be, okay, so are you, how far in season two of Mando are you? That's what I need to know. Like, have you, have you come come across her in Mando yet? Okay. Yeah, I have seen Boba doing the Hawkeye. That's cool as shit, right? That's super cool. You're not done yet. Okay. It's no spoiler. You know you're going to come up against her. They were talking about her even in season one. Uh, so like that's not near the end real fucking fingers <laughs> oh dude yeah no joke no joke no joke that's not a spoiler like okay you knew I was gonna say what the fuck man no I knew okay good I was gonna say they talked about her a lot like that wasn't you knew you were going to you were going to come up against her uh, when you see it it's so amazing they made his fighting with the Haka moves. Yeah, I know. It's cool. <clears throat> yeah, Clone Wars, the final, the final, um, the final season of Clone Wars was great. The final four episodes. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. He's got training with that weapon. That's cool as shit, really. Oh God, it was so good though, dude. Oh my God, it was so good, dude. <laughs> Oh, everything, everything they've been throwing at us has been phenomenal. All right, Scottish Towers telling me to stay at 31,000. Uh, 31, That's where we're going to hang. Let me look at my flight plan just to corroborate all that shit. All right, so. Now this is telling me, uh, okay, so when we get to our next 31,000 feet where we are now, when we get to the next one, we're coming down to 23,000 and then we're going to start dropping. Cool. So when we get to rugged, rugged, which is right there, rugged, we descend to 23. It opened up seeing the manipulation of power. Oh God, right? Oh my God. Some of the, the best actors are those with weapon training. Oh, hell yeah. Look at Ray Park. Dooku's character has fencing training. Yep. That's why he flows so well. No, the uh, Palpatine arc was cool. Yeah, it was. They mo -capped, uh Yes, they did, dude. It was so sick, too. And that that is one of the best fights in all of the animated stuff. But yeah, the mo the motion capping on, on that fight was just, it made it so real. It made it so real. That's one of the things in Clone Wars and Rebels that drives me nuts is the 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 lightsaber fights always look like they're in like 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 fast and slow then fast and slow and like you just see them keep hitting lightsabers together but that fight oh that fight was so real it was visceral dude oh there's a theory losing uh and then put annie over the edge losing ahsoka was the start of it agreed agreed um, that's something, yeah, I, that's not the first time I've heard that thought. You haven't watched Rebels? Have you watched any of Rebels? 
Oh my god. Okay, so... Oh, man. <laughs> I want to say something, but I, I don't want to ruin it. But there is a... There is... There is a scene in Rebels, and I'm not... I'm the chat, don't spoil it. That happens with Kanan. And I still don't know how... I still don't know how to rectify it. But it was one of the most unbelievably emotionally charged parts that I've ever seen. It was so good. Hits and strikes are snappy. Yeah, yeah, I know, but seeing it, yeah, exactly shining, exactly. She wouldn't have, she would have uh, slowed down a whole lot. Yeah, yeah. You don't think she would have saved him? I don't know, man. I. Uh, yeah, the three episodes, including the Ahsoka scene. Oh yeah, okay, so you've only seen those, okay. Oh, the, that scene. You know the one I'm talking about, right? Yeah, you know the one I'm talking about. Oh my god. Okay, so you've seen the one in the Sith Temple. Oh, okay. Oh, you bounced all around it then. Because that's second season, I believe. Devlin, what's up, dude? How are you, man? Kanan is odd. Still haven't answered. Right, I know. I know. I know. I'm waiting to figure out what they do. Fuel Depot go boom. Yep, that's the one. Don't go into too many more details, though, but just like the pure that thing that happens there. Oh, my God, dude. It was one one live. T oh, I got you. I got you. OK, yeah, go through. Go through on Disney Plus and watch the whole thing. Watch the entire thing on Disney Plus. It's so good. I'm good, man. I'm good, dude. We are. You can't see it anymore, but we are over Scotland right now. And it apparently is very up oh, there. There's some land back there. We got land. We have made it to Scotland. We are here. We are just getting ready to uh, start lining up for, for landing fairly quickly here. I'm very excited. We have actually made it across the Atlantic. This is this is for real, dude. There you go. Look at us. We are over land. We're about to ascend or descend. Meeting uh, with Ahsoka and Luke. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know if there would be. I suppose it's possible. We call it Jedi. She doesn't see herself as one. Correct. I want to like tell Ahsoka that Annie uh, repented at the end. Oh, dude. Fucking. So we still don't know much about Ahsoka in the end either. So like we've got we've got so much stuff going on and questions about like what happens with Grogu, but we we still have no idea. Yeah, there's like a lot that needs to be answered. Do <laughs> you call him Sky Guy Jr. Right? Oh god, could you imagine? Could you imagine? I'd cry like a little fucking baby. <laughs> Yeah, Devlin, check it out, dude. We are uh, we're in contact with uh, Scottish air traffic control at this point. This is pretty cool. So we get over here to rugged. We're gonna be going down to twenty three thou, I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe. All right, that should be our cue. We're gonna take her down. So we're gonna set this down twenty three thousand. I think it was like 23.1 or whatever, but I'm just going to go 23,000. Whoop. Like so. We're going to set this. We're going to descend at a pretty healthy 3,000. So we're going to need to watch our speed as we drop down. Let's remember the world between worlds. Right. She isn't meant to be alive. I know, right? How long until we uh, we get to landing? Um, that is a wonderful question that I don't know the answer to. Give me two seconds and I can try to figure it out. Um, da -da 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 -da. We are less than 200 nautical miles out. And uh, less, I'd say half hour, 45 minutes, maybe. Not even that long. I don't think it's gonna be that long. We're moving really fast. That's our That's our end goal right there. We're moving pretty quick. I think we're going to be there a lot sooner than, than we think. We've got a nice little tailwind with us, too. Let's see what air traffic control 
They're still telling me to go up there. I'm going to follow my flight plan and not what they're telling me because I'm a fucking rebel, baby. I don't do what I'm told. Come on now. Let's see. They want us. Rugged's taking us 23,850. And then Lagan, I'm going to drop down to 16. So when we, or Lagav, when we get here, I'm dropping down to, to 16. 16,000. 16,000. So damn glad she made the jump to live action. Dude, it's so cool to see her. One of the few times I've, uh, a Padawan being ignorant of losing a friend, light side move to changing the timeline. Dude, for real. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's a perfect example of it. And holy shit, what a cool way to handle time travel, right? What a cool way to handle time travel. Also, I really thought we were going to get something about that in Rise of Skywalker. I really thought we were going to have some kind of form of like Palps has fallen down the, the reactor shaft, find some way to open up world between worlds and go straight to Exegol would have made more sense why do we see this shit in rebels and then poof, we're never going to talk about it again where they jump between all the jedi survivors order 66 yeah mork is a sith lord seventh sister is hot no wait no hang on hang on who was the, who was in the game was it the ninth sister and the second sister right because that big and she's scary <laughs> that big one, she's scary, man. I I don't I don't I don't need <laughs> I don't need her in my life. She's scarier than hell. Alright, we drop below like fifteen thousand. I'm gonna screw with the, the fuel a little bit. We're halfway to Lagav. This is awesome. You underestimate the Nanu Nanu side. <laughs> <laughs> Seventh sister is hot. Ninth and second. That's what it was. Okay. And ninth. Ninth was. Was the ninth a big one? Or was she? I, I, I keep getting them. I keep getting them mixed up. I think the ninth sister was the human. Right? Seventh is the one from Rebels. Same race as Barris. And, okay. Luminara. Right. 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 Yes, yes, that's right. Okay. All right, so I'm going to program in 16,000. We're going to start descending when we hit Lagav. Is no problem. Just sitting here with a wood burning stove. Nice. I want one of those, man. My house wouldn't support it, but damn, it'd be cool as shit. Or warm. I suppose it'd be warm. Nice. We're making good progress. Let's see what we can see outside. All right. We got breaks in the clouds. This is hot. This is awesome. I'm excited, you guys. We're actually here. We're here, man. I'm not even going to say we're almost there. We're here. We did it. That's a very cool feeling. Still Mercedes, Sasha Banks, and Mandalorian. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Damn, I can't believe it. It is taking four, four legs to make this happen, man. All right, we're coming down to that one. I'm going to start our descent now. I'm going to bring us down roughly... We'll do 2,000 since we're doing it a little early. Start our descent. And the other thing we're going to do is I'm going to thicken out our fuel. He's going to be a thick boy. We'll drop some flaps here so that we don't we don't drop too quickly. And you crash. No. Uh, put off dry heat. That's uh, no different from a gas flame. Yeah, that's cool as shit, dude. Second is the human inquisitor. Okay, cool, cool, cool. She was kind of hot. In a scary way. <laughs> In like a scary way. Dude, we did so good on fuel tonight. Oh my God. Look at this. We still got 69% good number. 
69% of our fuel left. Normally, we're coming in on fumes, dude. I didn't even need to fill it all the way up. Shit. I'll take it, though. I'll take it all damn, all damn day. No, it's a different. It is, uh... It is so, so different. Oh, I'm sorry. It is so different from a gasoline. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I read that too fast. <clears throat> yeah, I was going to say, my last... Uh, the, the house I lived in before this one, we had a... We had a gas gas fireplace downstairs, and that was actually pretty nice. We used it all the time. Uh, loved that thing, but I'd love to have a wood burning stove, man. That would be amazing. <laughs> snitches get stitches. <laughs> or as Mr. Papercuts likes to say, glitches get stitches. I like that one. That one's funny as shit. All right, let's see how mad they are that I'm coming down. They still want me up at 31,000 feet. That ain't happening. This is why I turn off the radio. Ming Na Wen, Sasha Banks, Gina Carano, and Katie Sackhoff. Yeah, total crush fest. Dude, you ain't kidding. You ain't kidding, man. Holy God. Yes, please. <laughs> no joke. Yeah, that's that's good times. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. Dude, I just discovered uh, Netflix uh, threw it up in my face. Uh, does anybody watch uh, Longmire? I couldn't believe Katie Sackhoff is in that show. Holy shit. Looks good in a cop uniform, too. Not going to lie. But it's just cool, man. She's got good acting chops, man. She's a great actress. All right, where do we need to be? Let's see if we can. Okay, so the gob is 16,000. PTH is next at 8,000. And all we got to do is focus on getting down to that 3,000 mark, and then we can pick up our glide slope. So by PTH, we need to be at. Well, let's see where PTH is. PTH is next, so we should st we should probably be dropping down to eight thousand now. Me thinks. Might as well. It's not going to hurt anything. So we'll set this down to about eight thousand. It should. It's gone back to here. Okay, cool. So we're gonna engage. What is that set to? Two thousand down. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. <clears throat> Boba tosses them. <laughs> yeah, dude, right? Internet breaks. Most watched episode. Uh, most watched episode of all times. TV fans become united. Dude. And Disney Plus sells more memberships than it ever could possibly have understood. Disney Plus becomes essential. Death of... Uh, Eth Koth. Who's Eth Koth? I see the Nashville bombing. Yeah, I did. I don't know much about it and not a whole lot's been shown up in my feed. Have they like determined what the hell happened? I feel like that was a, a really weird. What was that? It was like Christmas morning, right? Fucking terrible. I wasn't sure if that was actually goes up a dollar next year. It goes up a dollar? I mean, alright, that's fine. If it was going up like ten bucks, I'd be upset. I'd be pretty upset over like ten bucks. But like a dollar? I, I can handle a dollar. Hell, I would find a way to watch it even if it went up ten bucks. You know, I mean that that's a burrito. That's just a burrito. Burrito for Mando, done. What I would like to be able to do though, um, what I would like to be able to do is I, I want to be able to buy the Mando episodes. I'd much, much prefer to be able to buy those things. I don't know why we can't.
Like, I want to own it. I don't want to only have to stream it, man. I don't know. Maybe that's just me being dumb. Oh, the dude who did it was a 5G conspiracy kind of thing. Oh, wonderful. I must be completely out of it, dude. I don't understand how there's a conspiracy with 5G. That's cell service, right? What? What's the deal with 5G? It's a premeditated RV bomb. Yeah. All right. So it wasn't an accident. All right. Member of the Jedi Council. Right. Right, right, right. Yeah, dude. I don't know anything about the whole conspiracy with with 5G. I thought it was a I thought that was a joke. Nashville dude was a nut, believed in aliens and lizard people. Oh, it's that kind of guy. Can't say much considering the tart right. On December, suicide bomber detonated recreational vehicle bomb in downtown Nashville, United States, injuring eight people. Damaging dozens of buildings. Yeah, it's not on iTunes to purchase. I know. It's really weird. You can't find... I've, I've looked everywhere. I've looked everywhere that I could find. And still nothing. And still nothing. All right, ladies and gents, we are getting close. Let's see what we got. We got one big turn. We hit PTH. We come through PTH. And then it's all on to lining up. We're gonna have a nice long stretch, letting us get down to about three grand. And then we're gonna swing around and right about this DM128. I imagine we're gonna catch the uh, the ILS glide slope. Yes. So we're gonna activate our approach now, I believe. Looking good. Clicking into PTH, beautiful. Radios are set. Love it. And now what we need to do is let's look down on PTH. No, 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 no. Calm down, calm down. Flight plan. Why are you doing this to me? I just want to see my heights. Ugh. I don't want to activate anything. Get out of here. <laughs> Why you do this to me? All right, we're going to we're going to eyeball it, man. Fuck it. We're sitting at 8000 now. I'm going to bring us down to like 3500 just to be on the safe side. Let's see if Tower has anything to say to us. They're still trying to keep me at 3100. That's 31000. That is not okay. Don't listen to Tower. Tower's Tower's crazy. Why would they do it? All right, so we'll bring us I think like 3500 We'll keep it at 4,000 just in case we got some high highlands to worry about. Bring us down at 2,000 a pop. Easy peasy. Goosey squeezy. 5G causes cancer, spreads the coronavirus, and used to control thoughts and actions, etc. and so on. Tinfoil has no effect on it. Apple and Disney tend to be bedfellows. This is true. This is true, but I've looked even in, I've looked in the Google store. I've looked on, uh, on, uh, Amazon's stuff. Like no one's got it, man. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. I be in Scotland now. It's, it's beautiful here. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that terrain. Hey, welcome to Scotland. Let the whiskey flow. Oh, this is beautiful, man. Putting another one up here, chat. This is awesome. Purchase because character. Oh, paraphrase his character limit. Downtown Nashville Christmas morning had spent time hunting for alien life forms in nearby state park. Was interested in lizard people, according to law. Oh my god. What the hell? 
<laughs> ah, it's, it's, it's all because of the lizard people poisoning the wells and the and and everything else. Remember my mom telling me you could get radiation from the television. I remember that. I remember that sitting so close. Got a listing of everything on. The, yep, yep, yep. Point out no radioactive material. Radio waves. I said you. <laughs> the right. You mean like the ones in your car? Never mind. I don't. I don't want to fight anymore. <laughs> yeah, dude, I remember that. My mom used to tell me the same thing. You're gonna get cancer if you sit that close to the TV. Why would you put this in here, mom? <laughs> why, why would you give this to me? Also, don't you think the thing heating up our food might be a little more dangerous? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Dude, it's so true, though. <laughs> it's so true. Moms be crazy, dude. Moms be crazy like that. All right. I think we're in a very, very good position right now. We're looking great. Let's pull our camera. What do we got? We got uh, 18 nautical miles before we begin our, our official descent. And that point... Once we get to EDN, I'm going to bring it down to 3,000 like it suggested. Let's see what it's telling us. <laughs> They're still telling me to climb. They're out of their minds. Oh, there it is. 4,100 feet. All right. We just so happen to be at 40. Yeah, we're at flight level four. This is good. Closer you need to sit to see it well. Damn right tried to argue with me about it. My mom told him not to do it. I was smarter than he was. Damn straight. Leaks into the frequencies used for asteroid watching. That one I could kind of believe. <clears throat> Maybe, I guess. It could be contributing in some way, shape or form. Ooh, squirrel. Looky, looky. One that's really pretty, but over there, we got them wind farms. They're moving. Look, look, look. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. This is beautiful. We have perfect weather coming into Scotland. You could not want more. This is amazing. This is totally amazing. Oh, man, I miss this place. I've only been here once in my life, but it is so beautiful. You get a chance to go to Scotland or Ireland, man. You need to take it. You saw Nessie. <laughs> we need to fly over Loch Ness, man. Also includes the meteorological radio. Right, 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 right. Yeah, that would make some sense. It's all magnetic. Yeah. Oh, look at that, dude. That's beautiful. So this is not live time, but this is live weather. It's actually pretty cool. That's pretty fucking cool. All right, let's get serious. Here we go. Back to the uh, back to the old map once more. Get a better and clearer picture of what's coming in. All right, eight miles before we hit the next one. This is like coming up fast as shit. I'm going to bring us down now. 30. Program that in. Take us down 2000 at a time. We'll be down there in 30 seconds. Easy peasy. Feels a little low with those, those, those mountains up ahead. That's making me a little... Japan, you think it's on 6G? Oh, yeah. CDMA versus GSM in the US. Right, right. Yeah, I think Verizon is all still CDMA versus like uh, AT&T, T-Mobile. Uh, I guess T-Mobile and Sprint now together are all GSM, but Sprint used to only be CDMA. It's weird. Used to be an adventurer like you to like a blast of molten borax to the garage. <laughs> True story. <laughs> True, true story. You got to watch out for those blasts of molten, uh, molten borax. <laughs> Boy Scout once had a reactor in his, in his parents' garage. 
Oh, there was a kid that figured out some kind of nuclear fusion something. I remember seeing that a couple months ago. It wasn't anything dangerous and the government wasn't worried about him, but like he'd actually achieved some form of nuclear fusion in his in his garage for like a science project. T-Mobile got Sprint for their bandwidth, AKA Spectrum. Yeah, right, right, right. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're going into real life. Hey, look, golf courses in Scotland. What a crazy, crazy concept. <laughs> there they were, man. All right, so if we look out our right, we should have actually seen the airport. The airport. There it is. There's our airport right there. That's where we're going to be touching down. That is Edinburgh, man. Cool. Cool, dude. Cool. Epic. All right, we're down at 3,000. We make it to uh, this point right here. I'm going to drop flaps here. I'm going to drop gear. We should be on ILS by the time we grab we drop here. So then we'll activate the approach mode. Man, we're touching down soon. At a half gallon is, oh my God, seriously? Made homemade nitro for a science project. Oh my God. Can you imagine that happening today? Getting up to level most of the houses around his. Oh my God. Yeah, dude. Holy shit balls. Oh, that's, that's way past insane. <laughs> that's way past insane. <laughs> Homeboy was nuts. This is so cool, man. It's even cooler if you if you had like this thing right here is called the crag. I've hiked that. And then looked out over the city to the castle, which is someplace over here. It's so cool, man. I don't know, unless maybe I'm looking at it from the wrong angle, which is entirely possible. If that's the case, then the castle might be over here. But oh my god, it's so cool. It's like going back in time, dude. He got expelled. He should! You shall crash and we shall all cheer and joy. That's terrible, but you're right. That would make for good shit. What's up, Heretic? Makes thermite. Do not make thermite. <laughs> Do not make thermite. He didn't have a clue how much damage the little bottle could have done. He was a very, very smart, innocent freshman. My God, dude. Yeah, I mean, he... Oh, God. Yeah, could you imagine? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mark of Future, what is happening, dude? Good to see you, man. How are you tonight? Would have killed most of the school. Dude, yeah, 100%. It would have had an insane yield. Unbelievably insane yield. All right, we're going to drop flaps here, and we are going to be dropping gear at this waypoint right there. We are getting close. All right, it has detected has detected our glide slope. We are, be we are uh, below it right now, so that's good. Perfect for those cold winter nights. <laughs> Throws thermite on burn as a talcum. No! If you dropped it, it would have gone boom. Jesus. I'm good, man. Mark, I'm doing well. We are finally finishing our uh, transatlantic flight, man. We left from BWI four streams ago, dude. And uh, because I decided to do it in this crazy, crazy little prop plane, little turbo prop here, uh, we've had to stop in Canada. We then had to stop in Greenland. Then we had to stop in Iceland. And we're finally in the UK. There's our runway up ahead. I believe that's it right there. So this is this is the culmination of quite quite a journey, man. Yeah, I didn't think that was it. All right, we're gonna do something cool here. Got to do it like this. You got to do it like this. You got a puppy asleep on your lap? Nice. Metro X's graphics are great. The game is still linear, but more open than others. That's cool, dude. I've never played any of those. It's 
so we got our flaps down but well, we got our flaps at about the halfway point that's not bad all right we're in approach mode it's going to catch the glide slope right now now we are pointed down and it is also going to account for the wind which is pushing behind us it's going to be interesting going to be in michigan trying to pronounce now yeah dude I, I can't wait dude i can't wait it's going to be hysterical but you already knew that all right approach mode is on it's going to line us up with the runway and bring us down on top of it. All we need to worry about is our speed, which is awfully high right now. So we're going to drop the next phase of flaps. And just because I think this is fun, I'm going to set it so that we can see it happening. There we go. Flaps down. Full flaps. Gears are down. Runway in sight. Let's do this thing. All right. Fuel's looking good. Come on, baby. Bring this in. It should start angling us toward it. We're fighting a hell of a wind. We got a 14. We're going to be landing almost sideways. This is going to be fun. Pronounce I've lived here for 44 years. <laughs> Notice the danger music while he changed the speed. Yep. 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 There we go. All right. This is where it gets fun. 112 coming in. Not bad. We're at the higher end of the landing speed. I'm okay with that though. Reverse. Ready to go. Brakes ready. Let's do this thing. This is the fun part. As Obi would say, or Anakin would say, this is where the fun begins. Back to killing mutants. Heretic, I hope you're having a good time, my dude. All right. That is a hell of a crosswind. Looks like it's changed a little bit. We now have a five mile an hour crosswind, but it's now pushing us toward our side. So if you look right here, this is our wind that has just changed. And this is real weather. This is not, <laughs> this is cool as shit. This is not simulator. This is, you play this music when you have to go to the restroom. Me too, man, it's always. It's like this, it's epic when you pee. Quiz, I will hydrate the minute we hit the ground. Don't fuck up the landing, Dread. You've come way too far. 110. We're at 800 feet. 700 feet. 600. I'm gonna cut engines. Now. It's gonna pull us down. I'm gonna start our flare right now flaring nice and easy put it right on dead center and full reverse not even going to worry about the brakes going to let that handle itself and lay off of that turn off everything there we go we are on the ground we did it it's the tension of dropping the kids off at the pool <laughs> all right we're gonna keep rolling till we get to a point of the runway where we can pull off and you know what we need to do bring our flaps back in Give her a little gas. You gotta be careful. They get all pissed off at you if you uh, you go too fast on these things. 
I think that's... Yeah, there we go. We got a nice little painted yellow go-this-way marker. Should take us off the runway. Sweet. I'm going to head over by that parking lot because that's probably a good indicator of where the... Uh, where the terminal is. There's a setting you can turn on in here where it'll actually show you which way to go. It's just not as fun. We did it, man. Take off the epic station on Trestle. We need. <laughs> Hate the food when we went to the bathroom and played the diva song. Oh, God. <laughs> We're down, man. We did it. Welcome to Scotland, man. We're here. We are here. We did it. Just going to keep her taxi in. At least I think I'm going the right way. That looks like the terminal over there. We're going to go say hi. Slow it down to about 20. We should be able to make that turn. I see all the other little airplanes parked over here. I'm going to go park by them. We got ground crew waiting for us. try to do this without hitting them, huh? Parking brake on. Let's get a look around. <laughs> Love it when something works, man. We did it. All right, now that's not it. That's not it. What we want to do is we want to reach up here, kill power. Then I'm going to go outside. Well, that's actually pretty perfect. And we're going to shut down the engines. And that counts. That counts. We did that, but we're going to keep. We're going to watch the engine spool down. I love the ground crew. That's so cool. Where's Mary so we can ruin it? <laughs> Thanks, Devlin. We did it. We did it. Dragon, what's up, man? How are you? Check it out, y'all. We made it. We are here in Scotland. I also love this part. Check this. The, uh, the fucking props turn themselves when you park. Isn't that cool? Look at that. It's so stupid, but it's cool. All right. So first and foremost, let's get a look where the hell we are. I can't believe we made it, man. I cannot believe we made it. <laughs> We've got some glitches out here. It's like being in Australia. Those do not exist. Can confirm. Been there. They don't exist like that. This is awesome. All right. Here's what I want to do. Let me see if I can speed up the drone camera. Drone speed. Like really fast. Let's see. There we go. Let's go take a look at Edinburgh. That's pretty cool, man. That is pretty cool. Nice. We are here. Made it. You've made it home. Oh, and the graphics card died on the trip. Dude, I'm so sorry, but at least you're home. At least you're home, man. There's our pick right there. That's beautiful. Welcome to Edinburgh. We have done it. Very, very pleased. That was a pretty good flight. I feel like we did well. I don't even remember where the fuck I parked. Okay, we're going to do this. Whoops. Oh, the radio's off. Duh. Reset position. Shoop. There we go. Nice. All right, I'm going to head out later. All right, LTD. Take it easy, dude. Thanks for hanging, man. And chat, thank you guys for everything tonight, man. I'm going to call it there. We did it. We, we have officially sat down. We did it. Or put down something. I don't know. And then what we're going to do next week... Uh, with Mr. Heretic in chat here, he is going to be providing me with all sorts of hilarious, I'm going to call them hilarious, all sorts of uh, names from Michigan, geographical locations in Michigan. I'm going to try to pronounce them, and every one I mess up, I have to fly to. It's going to be awesome. 
and we're going to do that on Tuesday night here on YouTube. Uh, we'll be starting off about 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be a good time. I'm very excited for it. I think uh, I think it'll go over well. I hope it'll go over well. Let me kick on over to my outro here. Crank up the music just a tad. Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to have a good time with it. I think that's going to be a... Uh, I think it's going to be real funny. Because I'm going to mess everything up, dude. I'm going to mess it all up. And I'm expecting to. Which is the point. Which is precisely the point. You know how it goes. Um, and then, then after that, uh, we are going to be taking out some of the newer aircraft that I have access to now. And we're going to do some crazy shit. Like, we're going to fly, we're going to fly an Airbus. That's going to be fun. Uh, who knows? Who knows? And we're going to get back to some of the other stuff on YouTube. I'm glad, I'm glad we, we've gotten through this. You know, I'm glad, I'm glad we did it, man. That was cool. It was a hell of a challenge. It took forever. Things went wrong. We had to make emergency landings. We, th that was, that was real life, man. That was fun. That was real fun. All right, you guys, until I see you tomorrow on Twitch uh, for some Elite Dangerous. I love you all, man. You guys take it easy. Uh, take care of each other. Be good to each other. Stay safe. Stay healthy and continue to be the legends that I know that you are. Until I see you guys tomorrow, have a wonderful night, wonderful morning, wonderful afternoon, wherever the hell, whenever the hell you're seeing this. Take it easy. <laughs> now, when you say take out, <laughs> I mean, you never know which way we aim, man. Have a happy new year, bro. You're one of the best things about my whole year. Oh man, quiz. Thank you, dude. You have yourself a wonderful, wonderful night as well. Happy new year, man. Take it easy, my dude. I'm so, so glad we've had, we've had time this year, man. I'm so, so happy we've had time, man. <laughs> All right, two maniacs. I love y'all. Take it easy. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, fly safe. Hopefully be on and recount the tale. Dude, Dragon, I can't wait to hear about it. I can't wait to hear about it, man. I'm glad you're home. Welcome home, man, finally. <laughs> All right, you maniacs. Have a wonderful night. I'll see you later.